Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here we are about 4.35 a.m. Yeah, it's early. i um, been up since like 2.30. Yellow Hammer Brewing Belgian White. Belgian style wheat ale brewed with lime leaves, ginger, and chamomile. So they're using chamomile, lime leaves, and ginger instead of the normal wheat beer spices. Okay, Yellow Hammer Brewing from Huntsville, Alabama. This was launched in 2010, 2010. Uh, so let's see about their interpretation of it. 4.8% alcohol. I wrote some notes. No IBU I can find. Probably about 10. Kaffir lime leaves. Kaffir lime leaves. You stinking kaffir. Um, 49 out of 100 on rape beer. Not too good. 72 out of 100 for the style. It's pretty good in the style. No, no average on Beer Advocate, because there's not enough scores. This is the first video review for this beer in the world. Jean, I was about to say John, Jean Henderson Pierre from Mobile, Alabama, brought this to me last week when he visited Nouvelle Orleans. And we walked around for hours. Okay, I'm putting this Blue Moon glass, which, oh, some smoke. Actually, Blue Moon sent me this glass and three others. I gave two to my daughter and I kept two. Okay. Plus, they sent me keychain openers, t shirts, two t shirts. Um, all kind of decals and whatnot. Okay. Thick, off white head and a hazy, fiercely bubbly appearance. Golden. Looks like Blue Moon. You could pour this and people would think it was Blue Moon until they smelled it and they tasted it. Alright, take off this University of New Orleans Privateer's cap to get the shadow out of me eyes. Mm, so lemony. Okay. So spicy. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Now you know I'm always forever and endlessly ripping on wheat beers. I don't like the spices. I don't like the tap water uh, um, note. It interferes with the taste of food. Blah, 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 blah. But gee whiz, this ginger, chamomile, and Kaffa lime leaves really give it an interesting aroma. Hmm. Thank you so much, Jean, because you know I'd have never bought this any other way. I mean, unless I was happened to be unless I happened to be visiting Mobile or driving through uh, Alabama. Alabama, Alibaba. Okay. Anyway, mm. trying out this new camera. My other one broke. I left the. Um, I was. Out and about yesterday, broke, just broke. Well, after three years and thousands of hours of use, I mean, most people don't buy camcorders and use them constantly. So I'm trying this Canon. I don't know if the Canon's good. It's got so many features on it. I can't figure it. I mean, you got to be a scientist to use the thing. <clears throat> so the smell is dynamite. The appearance is good. The smell is dynamite. It's, this is a great start, and there's gunk at the bottom. But yet it's still the same old kind of wheat beer <laughs> with my complaints. The bubble gum. Yeah, it's got lime. Yeah, it's got ginger. Yeah, it's got chamomile. It's got those spices. Boy, if it didn't have those spices added, it would taste like dull city. Here we come. Think about that, wheat beers. They add the spices because otherwise it would just be nothing happening. So it's white bread. Even maybe that brand from Bimbo Bakery's white wheat bread, which could be flowers, which is owned by Bimbo, which owns everything. Um, kind of a fluffy mouthfeel, not so fluffy, a little watery. Um, the finish is mostly dry. It's these wheat beers, it's always the SOS. SOS. You know what SOS stands for? Same old 
story. Tap water. But there's an audience. There's a market. People buy it. People drink it. I don't buy it and I don't drink it. I mean, I buy it to review, but to, to do I buy wheat beers, including Blue Moon, Shock Top, and all the assorted other more highfalutin ones? No, I do not. You mean to drink for regular, to like drink a beer? I don't think so. That's not my style. But I'm not opposed to it as far as if you want to drink it, or if my daughter wants to drink it, or if Jean wants to drink it. Whoa, it got very milky. As you would expect. So if you want a beer that's milky, I don't think it's going to change the flavor. It might spruce it up a little bit. Aroma hasn't changed. Um, hmm. In the wheat beer world, yeah, it's an A. They've been making this for six years. I'm sure it's successful, or at least quasi-successful. No complaints. Buy it and try it, and if you're into the style, you're going to love it. For beer overall, it's good. It's a good beer. I can't rip on a beer because I don't like the style. That's, that's foolish. It's like saying, well, hockey's a bad sport because I don't watch it. Ever since they moved to Hartford Whalers, I don't watch it. Hey, uh, that would be ridiculous. My mother loved tennis. My father hated it. My mother would like constantly watch tennis and say it's a wonderful sport. My father kind of watched it, you know, just to please her, and he always hated it. He loved football. Oh, football, football, football. Everything when I grew up was football this, football that. Not that anything's changed there, but um, she hated football. She thought it was a bad sport. It was boring. No one should watch it. See what I mean? See the point? So, les le bon temps relay, a good beer. A good, okay, let's say a very good beer. A B plus, but it's hard to rate these beers for me. So you might say you're doing a terrible job because you don't understand the style and you can't properly appreciate the style. I would not necessarily argue with that. <clears throat> In fact, I would probably agree with that. But anyway, it is what it is. So y'all come on down to New Orleans. Mm. Seagram's Distillers Reserve Gin. I didn't say that. That didn't come out of my mouth.